What is going on, Adventure Nation? Lorena's ready to rock and roll. We're gonna do some whale watching. What do you think? Yes. Cool. Okay. This is the motorhome experiment. Well, we're hoping to see some whales. Well, we're going on a whale watching boat. We don't necessarily yeah, know. So far, we're going on a boat ride. Right. Hoping to see whales. That is correct. That is correct. We are going to be leaving Doheny State Park here. It's been a really good stay. The park isn't as busy as it has been in the past. And look, there is an ocean view. I don't care what any of you guys say. Don't be encouraging her. <laughs> there is an ocean view. The park has got quite a few spots open, but it is during the week. So that, uh, that kind of happens every now and then. This time of year anyways. Normally this thing is packed all the time. But we're leaving Doheny. We're heading just around the corner to the Dana Point Marina. And that's where we're going to see Captain Dave. And we're going to jump on a fishing boat, a whaling boat, and go check out some whales. So let's do it. Yes, it is not a whaling boat. It is a whale watching boat. Yes. A whaling boat is where they actually go kill the whales. We're not doing that. Yes. <laughs> we are a mess this morning, but... We're in a little bit of a rush to get over to the whale watching sightseeing thing. So we're leaving the campground early. Checkout isn't until noon here, but we're leaving at 9.30 so that we can be to the whale watching at 10. Here, I'm gonna show you guys out the window. This is the campground here at Doheny Beach State Park. Look at that. So if you've got one of these sites right here along the beach, then pretty cool. You can actually go face in instead of back in and get a pretty good view of the ocean. Lorena is following me in the car today because we don't have that far to go and we'll hook up over here by the marina. So we are heading over to Captain Dave's whale watching and dolphin safari. And as you can see, we found some inconspicuous parking here on the side of the road, kind of blending into the neighborhood. Very stealth. Very stealth-like. A class C or a class B would be much easier parking around here. But anyways, our first, our, our actually our second foray into whale watching, our first one didn't go so well. So we're hoping today <laughs> is better. The first one was in Morro Bay in central california now and we did three hours of fog watching it wasn't very exciting Right back and you hear a tale, tale of a fateful trip that started from this tropic port aboard this tiny ship. What do you think, Lori? You saw well, but from very far, so you can hardly see it. But you got to see one. Kind of cool. Not very often. 
lots of dolphins. So we got to see some gray whale, that was pretty cool. Now we're gonna get to see some dolphins. Alright, Lorena, are you ready to go on the iPod? I don't think it's iPod. It says iPod. Oh, yeah. iPod. <laughs> She's always questioning me. I thought it was like I. Uh huh. Our turn to go down in the iPod, Lori. Quick, 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 quick. Come on. See you down there in a little bit. Holy smokes, this is cool. We're down in this little pod down here in the bow of the boat that's glass. watching tour is just about over. We're heading into the marina again. Yeah. Pretty cool. We saw a few whales, but not from close. No, not too close. Did see a lot of dolphins though. Yeah, that was and cool. it was cool. Now we're out front on the boat. A little freaky standing out on this stuff, but <laughs> it's pretty cool. are back from our Captain Dave's whale watching and dolphin safari and it was cool. We had a lot of fun. It was cool. Got what? to see a few whales. Didn't get to see them too up close. From the the one I didn't get on camera was a massive gray whale and he said one of the biggest he'd really ever seen out here which was really cool but it just came up one time did a little bit of a roll and then disappeared but it was huge. Well it was gonna come out again and then a boat just came blasting almost on top of yeah, the whale. Yeah, a couple boats came and like basically rode over top of it, which is really just, I thought that was boating 101 is to not do that, but a couple of knuckleheads. Yeah. But uh, now we're going to roll up the coast and head on over to Anaheim. So, mm. lunch first. You know what's in Anaheim. Yeah. Alrighty, we are going to roll up the coast, do a couple little beach towns on the way up to Anaheim. Time to move on. Love right, this go. area though. Really, really love this area. Yeah. We arrived at the Anaheim RV Park. We've already checked in. That's the office right there. Gonna head around to our campsite and get settled in, get some editing done. Very well maintained park by looking at it. Very much a city type park.
I just took a shower and I was doing some editing and we heard the fireworks going off for Disney. So here we are. Here we are. Check that out. So from the Anaheim RV park, you can see and hear the fireworks. Well, kind of behind our tree. Well, it's a little bit behind the tree. It's not like you can see it clearly, but you can see it. You can hear the highway noise more than you can hear the fireworks. Not really. <laughs> we are at the Anaheim RV park and we're heading over to Disneyland. So if you're not a Disney fan, you can just stop watching this. We're not gonna do a whole lot in the park. Uh, I don't wanna film all day, I wanna have some fun. So we will show bits and pieces though. So if you are a Disney fan, we will have a little bit of that for you. And if you're not, like I said, just kill it and wait till the next one. We are going to jump on a shuttle that they have here. The shuttle was $5.50 a person. Ride it as many times as you want. It leaves 30 minutes after the park closes and uh, it runs about every 20 minutes or so, every 20 to 30 minutes. So it's really kind of perfect. We're only a mile and a half away. We were gonna bicycle over there, but then we have to leave our bicycle somewhere and lock them up and worry about that stuff and then ride back at one o'clock in the morning. So that's not gonna <laughs> happen. I already went over this morning to get the tickets. The office over there is pretty nice. It's really nice. Check this out back here in the office. This is all Disney stuff. Nice little room back here with breakfast and things available. Some morning depressing news. Cool. Nice. The park itself is super clean and we'll show you that before we leave. Yep. It's weird, but it's, it's very, very weird clean. Kind of park, I have to say. Here is the resort bus pass thing. Ah, 11 bucks for the two of us for the day. So that's not bad. By the way, we're gonna have a couple of special guests on the vlog today and it's not who you think. So ready to head over to the park? Let's go. Let's do it. So look who's here. We told you we're gonna have a special guest. You guys thought it was gonna be Kevin and Laura, didn't you? No, we've got Anna and Junior here from Las Vegas. And so we're gonna go inside and hit Disneyland. What do you say? Yeah. It's a busy day today. Yeah, it's like Girl Scout day or something. It is gonna be a nightmare. All right, we are through the nightmare that is the entrance and we're heading down Main Street, USA. By the way, we're shooting just handheld today, so it's gonna be a little jerky. So we're gonna do the best we can to keep it steady. I love this place. <laughs> Every time he shoots me, I'm in their phone. Like, he chooses the time zone. <laughs> Our first ride of the day, Jungle Cruise, a Disney classic. Do you guys think my jokes are corny? You gotta take the Jungle Cruise. The Jungle Cruise jokes are the worst. Can we all say hi, Bertha? Yeah, she's been in there for over 60 years. You can tell by all the wrinkles on her skin. Oh, and that's why kids, you don't want to take showers because you'll probably turn into an elephant. Can we all say hi, Ina? for Pirates of the Caribbean, or Caribbean, whatever you want to say. Yo ho, yo ho, a pirate's life for me. <laughs> Pirates of the Caribbean is over. Now it's time to get our haunted mansion on. Are you ready? I'm ready. So 
So we got a few of the really good rides out of the way. We did Jungle Cruise, we did the Pirates, and we did the Haunted Mansion. But I don't think I'm gonna film much more today, but we will take you on a little, I don't know, 60 second ride or so of the rest of the day. Enjoy. Our day is over here at Disneyland. We're closing down the park. It's just after midnight. They're kicking everybody out. Of course, all the shops and stuff okay. are still open they're so not, you can buy stuff. Exactly, they're not kicking us out. They're just making a shop. Yeah, rides are done, shopping is open. But that's it for us. We had a fantastic day. You guys have a good day? Yes. They had a good day as well. So that's what we're gonna call it tonight and we'll pick it up with you guys in the morning. But Disneyland rocked. It was really good. And our feet are just so tired. Yeah, how are the feet? Oh, sorry. They're aching, so time to stop walking for tonight. So I guess you know what time it is. It's time to end this video. So if this is your first time here, it would be awesome if you kept up with all of our travels, hung out with us a little bit, maybe got to know us some, and that means you gotta hit that subscribe button. It would be really cool if you liked the video, and we'll see you again in another one very, very soon. Bye, guys. Bye, kids. Subscribe. Bye. Bye.